Hey everybody, Chris Takoff here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. Okay, we have a little unboxing today. What are we unboxing? Well, we're unboxing the Antari VCS system. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. All right, the Atari system is very near and dear to me as it is the first gaming system that essentially was ever produced. I mean, there was Pong prior to this, but this was the first home system. It came out in November of 1982. I was 14 years old, and I remember my mom was able to save up and get my brother and I this system for that Christmas. What was cool in bringing back those memories is I still remember the box underneath the tree. We pretty much knew what it was, but one day my brother and I decided to steam the tape open and we verified our suspicions, retaped it and acted very surprised on Christmas when we opened up that present. Um, brings back many, many fond memories. So when I first saw this project that was being crowdfunded, I said I had to get one regardless if it was gonna be good or bad, but I have been waiting for this for at least over a year. I can't quite remember when I first sent in the crowdfunding money, but here it is, it finally arrived. Some of you have seen the pictures of it, but I have not opened it or set it up, so we're going to do a unboxing. All right, let's see what this bad boy is gonna bring, and hopefully we'll get some gameplay later on. Okay, so this is the box it came in. As you can see, this is the front. I'm gonna go to give you a little side view. Turn it around. Some of the most coolest games, Mission Command, which I love, never beat, can only get by level two. So kind of interesting to see. All right, let's open up this thing. All right, I already cut the ends off. The old Asteroids game, one of the first games to be a coin quarter system. I remember this playing many, many days. This is what I tell, talk to you about when we used to um, go look for bottles to get to cash in to get coins to play arcade games. What? And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Has that retro look to it. I'm gonna take this, put this down. Has the wood grain. Sorry about that. Has the wood grain. I believe this is only for the collector's edition. Has that retro look to it. Atari emblem that many of you know because they still produce games. USB port to the front, USB port to the front. Let's take a look at the connections in the back. We have our power mode, AC adapter, Ethernet cable, but I believe this is wireless, HDMI, USB, USB. So it's kind of nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. We have our Atari VCS 800 Collector's Edition, Official Certificate of Authenticity. The docu this document confirms that the Atari Video Computer System reference herein is an authentic Atari VCS Collector's Edition. This unit is one of the 6,000 produced and delivered by Atari VCS LLC in 2020. This certificate and its numbered hologram matches a corresponding limited edition Atari VCS unit. Please store this document in a safe place. Well, that's kind of cool, right? We have our AC adapter. Okay, no big deal. Came with its own HDMI cable. That's cool, because I kind of needed one. 
the other part to the AC adapter. And of course, if your iPhone gets wet, these are good to have in a jar. Put your iPhone in it and it sucks all the moisture out. <laughs> all right, let's see what else we got. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at our controllers. This is the retro controller that originally came with the Atari 2600. It's a Bluetooth wireless rechargeable for PC and mobile gaming. Features rumble and LED light effects. It, the original one did not come like that, so that's quite interesting. So it's a wireless classic joystick with USB charge and play capable. So that's kind of what it used to look like, but definitely not that. Loving the Atari VCS logoing. And then we also have the traditional Xbox style controller, wireless modern controller. And the features to this one are the same Bluetooth wireless rechargeable for PC mobile gaming, featuring rumble with USB charge and play cable. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look what these bad boys look like. All right, so what I was noticing here is it says, Engineered in partnership with Power A, Atari's iconic game controller is reborn as the new Atari VCS Classic Joystick, which features like rumble, LED light effects, and a second fire button to give retro gaming new life. So that's what it says there. Let's take a look at this. And we'll be hooking all of this up together. I'm kind of excited. So we have our quick start there. I feel like I should have the music from 2001 Space Odyssey. If you haven't seen that Stanley Kubrick uh, film, it's actually somewhat people would think it's boring, but it's actually it's really a good story. I actually enjoyed the 2010 Space Odyssey. Space, Space Odyssey so. Got our controller, we'll show you that in just a minute. All right, got the packaging done. So we have our USB-C, I believe that's the controller there. Take this out of the bag and there it is. There's our controller. You used to hold it like this. It'll be like. But now it says it has a second fire controller, so. Okay, so a little bit more. Let's see what that feels like. Hmm. That's our retro controller. Let's take a look at what the, our classic controller looks like. And in this one, we have engineered in partnership with Power A. The all new Atari VCS modern controller is designed for full feature wireless gameplay. our quick start guide gonna show you guys that so it is an unboxing after all out of the package and i hope these are universal they look like a universal ends so that's good so we have our there so i'll let you know in just a bit And then we have our classic controller. So, see how this one plays out. Kind of feels okay. Kind of, hmm, we'll see. All right, let's start to hook this thing up and let's get it over here and see what kind of screen we come on. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have hooked up our Atari right here to this here give you kind of that close up what and we are going to go ahead and put the power button on and see what we get kind of interested to see powering it up tari emblem Oh. 
pretty cool. All right, now we gotta hook up our controllers. So let me get that done and I'll get right back to you guys. So the, so the Atari needs a, a BIOS update, have not been able to play yet. So just FYI, it does take a little while with these new systems to even get going here. So <laughs> I'll keep you apprised of what's going on. All right, we finally have everything all set up. So let's take a look at what happens next. Looking pretty good. It's definitely some old school sounds. All right, we can play Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow, Centipede, Chris, Crystal Castles, Gravatar, Liberator, uh, Lunar Lander, I haven't played that in like forever. Major Havoc, Mollipede, Missile Command, that's my nemesis right there. There is the old Pong, that, which started it all, ladies and gentlemen. The games you play today are because of that game right there. Red Baron, Space Duel, Sprint, Super Breakout, Tempest, another awesome game, Warlords, and we're back to Asteroids. All right, so let me tell you this much. We used to go to the arcade and actually play these physical games. We'd hunt for bottles all over the place, cash them in at the local liquor store, get our quarters, and spend as much time we, as we could um, at the various liquor stores, and eventually arcades sprouted up. Kind of gone away now, but it's kind of cool. So let's play a little Asteroids. I am going to definitely hook this up to my streaming system so we can get some better gameplay. But for now, I uh, just kind of want to get this like open box scene and kind of my first impressions. All right. You don't want too many of the yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Well, he's gonna die there because we. I don't know why it's set for two player. Why I have the two player controller? Kind of weird. I must have pressed something wrong. Oops. No, cancel. We'll just let them die. And we'll go back. That's kind of weird. Now at least he died right there. All right. Can't wait to actually put this on streaming. the middle screen safer. Oh, 
What's funny is nothing is going faster except the music. Oh, missed it. One's gonna die. Ooh, didn't die. Now he's gonna die. Didn't die. I'll have to figure that one out for next streaming. Why that happened. I do have to get a longer HDMI cable if I want to hook this up directly to my streaming machine. <laughs> if that was me playing, I would not be lasting that long. That was so funny. Really, guys? All right. If I can get to 10,000, I get a free, uh, free, uh... junk on there. Oh, ah! Well, that's it. Then we can leave our names. So back in the day, because I'm a big Mad Max fan, I my thing was always Max. I don't know how you could play this one with this. I used to play this with a ball. <laughs> ah, the world ended. <laughs> I suck. All 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I decided that I was going to hook this up to my streaming system to actually give you some 1080p uh, gameplay. We'll take a look at what uh, some of the other features of the Atari and then do a wrap up of my thoughts behind the system. So far, I'm actually pretty excited. I hope they keep supporting it. I don't believe it's out yet uh, to be purchased. And this is just the collector's edition that was sent to all of the people that did the support for the game to be built. All right, so take a look. Let's take a look at some gameplay. Okay, so one of the first things I wanted to talk about was where my picture is at, or video of me, where it says Atari VCS Vault. That's where the games are at that are on this that came with this particular system. The Atari VCS Companion is kind of uh, the uh, the information regarding um, Atari and this system, and of course we can we can have Chrome as an app. And then PC mode. I took a look at PC mode, and apparently you can put a OS onto this system. You got to get a thumb drive and do all that stuff. Not quite interested in doing that yet. But um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys was in this. We have our games here, and as of right now, this is the only vault, which is a uh, a bunch of games. And I'm going to show that to you because I actually there was something inside of that that I didn't know existed. I just thought it was the arcade games. I didn't realize the Atari 2600 games were part of the system. And we're going to show you the differences between the two. Some of you are going to be like, what the heck? I know you guys are. But the cool part though on this is if we go to the apps. Uh, so we have our apps. So those are the only ones I have right now. I haven't gone any further. But then we can go to the store. And our store has more games. So I can um, get these other games. A little expensive. I'd have to do some research on the, like, Spearmaster. It's $9.99. I don't know. Uh, but then, as we can see, we have our Disney+. Plus. We have the typical stuff that we find on most uh, like streaming devices. Uh, this is another Vault 2. So I have the VCS Companion. Or, I'm sorry, I have the first Vault and then we come down here, we have some other, as you can see, we have some other games. Um, we have Frog Hop, which I think is Frogger, but due to the fact that it's owned by another, the license is owned by someone else, I think they had to call it Frog Hop. Uh, kind of a little like Super Mash. I don't know quite that is. I'm going to have to look that one up as well, but $19.99. So um, we'll have to get some like a after uh, video, like a post video on what some of these are. What I do like though as far as if this is going to be hooked up to your main TV, you have Discord, Plex, Netflix, Disney, Twitch, Hulu, HBO Max, Prime Video, and the list goes on. So we have all of these various different things. And I'm sure there's going to be more stuff added. So it's quite interesting to see that stuff there. So let's go back up. And um, what I want to show you now is going back to home. And I'm going to go to the vault. Now, I wasn't really reading everything. I was just taking a look at the games here. Should load up. We're only going to play a couple of games just to kind of give you guys a gist of it. And my afterthoughts. So what I found out is, okay, I'm going to press X. So on here on on, on uh, this, this gives us all of our games. So we can play Asteroids, uh, Asteroids Deluxe, Black Widow, Centipede, Crystal Castle. Uh, I should technically let's. Uh, well, anyways, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do it right now with you guys right here. I'm going to move me just a little bit here, so we can get a list of our games. All right, so we got Gravatar, Liberator, Lunar Lander. Can't believe I spent many, many hours trying to land a modular. Never, I don't think I ever did it right. Uh, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, the original Pong. Without Pong, we wouldn't be here today, ladies and gentlemen. Got Red Baron, Space Duel, Sprint. That's what these systems actually look like. Those, these were what we used to stand in front of for hours. So we got a Super Breakout, Tempest, Warlords, and we're back to Asteroids. So here's the cool part. So I pressed X. Here's the 2600 games. So we have Asteroids, Atari Video Cube, Backgammon, Basic Math, Basketball, Blackjack, Bowling, Brain Games, Breakout, 
Canyon Bomber, Casino, Centipede, uh, Soccer with uh, 54 video games, Circus Atari, Code Breaker, Combat, Combat 2, Crystal Castles, Demons to Diamonds, Desert Falcon, uh, Dodge Em, Double Dunk, Fatal Run, uh, Flag Capture, Football, Golf, Gravatar, Hangman, Haunted House, Home Run, Human Cannonball, Maze Craze, Millipede, Miniature Golf, Missile Command, Night Driver, Off the Wall, Outlaw. Now what's interesting about Outlaw, my daughter Jordan the Cop actually caught it too when it spins back around. It actually looks like Clint Eastwood's character from the Outlaw Josie Wales if you look at it. And I don't know if that's where they got it from, but that if you look at the artwork of Outlaw Josie Wales, that is that picture. So I don't know if they stole that from that. Pong Sports, Quad Run, Race, Radar Lock, Baseball, Basketball, Boxing, Football, Football, Soccer Mode, Tennis, Volleyball, Haunted House, Save Mary, Secret Quest, looks kind of interesting doesn't it? Sentinel, Skydiver, Slot Machine, Slot Races, Racers, Space Wars, not Star Wars, Space Wars, Sprint Master, Star Raiders, Starship, <laughs> Steeple Chase, Stellar Track, Street Racer, kind of interesting, Stunt Cycle, Submarine Commander, these are some old games guys, Super Baseball, Super Breakout, Super Football, Surround, uh, Sword Quest, I remember that one, that was kind of cool, Earth World, Sword Quest Fire World, Sword Quest Water World, right? Tempest, uh, Video Computer System Game Program, oh, I think you can program, I, I forget that one, we'll take a look at that one, another one, Game Program, Video Chess, Video Pinball, Warlords, Yars Revenge. 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, I don't know how 3D it was back then. Concentration, Adventure, Air Sea Battles, and we're back to Asteroids. So I'm gonna show you a comparison. So, and then of course you can actually, not of course, but then you can look at, you can scroll through the games on the list. We're gonna go back to arcade mode. Let's play some Asteroids. So you already kind of saw the gameplay, but I'm gonna show you the differences. All right. And let's go and get started. Now what's different about this one is I'm actually using the pad oh, to move around. Before you would have to actually press, I think you'd have to press the button, oh! Okay, well here's the difference, I wanna show you. It's very simplistic, but as you notice, the asteroids are in a di diagonal uh, format. Okay, and that's gonna play a different story later on, okay? So just bear with, ooh, I almost lost it. Ooh. Which I was interesting is that none of the asteroids are going any faster. They're just making the music go faster to kind of throw you off. Now I knew some of my friends when they would play this would leave one asteroid and let the uh, spaceships come out to uh, because it was spaceships were like 500 points. So I didn't even get to see how much that was. The tiny ones were the most expensive. All right, score to beat is. 11,190. Oh! oh man, if my brother was only here, he would be loving this right now with me. If I tell you it brings back memories, it does bring back memories, but unfortunately it brings back, well it brings back good memories, but it also brings back the memories or the thought of my brother and I growing up, and this is what we had to get away from our crappy life. Ah, game over. All right, now we're going to... Oh, I screwed up. Oh, well, that's okay. So we're going to go back to our main menu, which is easy. 
We're gonna go to X, and we are gonna play uh, Asteroids. Now let's look at the difference of what a home system was. So the game I was just playing was the arcade Asteroids, which is one of the first video games um, out. Now this was the 2600. This was what we were all excited to finally play on our small TVs at home. So let's take a look at this. What? This is what we were excited about. Look at that. I'm gonna have a seizure. No diagonal though. Because the programming did not allow for diagonal. I don't even think this has spaceships. Oh! Well, that was rude. Let me know what you guys think. I forgot how awful this was. But it's kind of cool that they included the 2600 games. Now, eventually... Intellivision would come out, we would see another version of the Atari where graphics would be better, ColecoVision, um, and then finally the Sega Master System along with the first Nintendo, Neo, Net G, or Neo, Neo, Neo something, Turbo Graphics. So the thing is, with no, no diagonal, no spaceships. Uh, we don't have to really worry about too much. Get yourself in a nice area and you're okay. Now... Ooh, I got extra life. Gonna be my vector. I think most kids could probably program this at home today. Uh oh. Notice our bolts could notice our missiles only go so far too. Interesting is Space Invaders almost has the same. Dun, 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 dun. All right, enough of that. So that's that. I'm going to show you the difference on another game. So, or let's uh, take a look at uh, Lunar, one of the games that I uh, still can't believe we used to spend so much time on. You guys are going to see how horribly I suck at this game. Okay, so there's our lunar, our lunar, and we want to land in those spots. We only have so much fuel to slow us down. Ah, I screwed up already. So I'm not going to just... <laughs> All I can think about is a song right now, Major Tom. I kind of forgot how to control this. 
Because when I uh, press the uh, thrust button, it goes right back into a uh, vertical, not allowing me to steer. So I have to take, oh, I'm going too fast. I'll show you guys what happens. <gasps> I killed everybody. Maybe that's why I'm not an astronaut. Okay, I just guys wanted to show you guys that. Uh, let's take a look here. What do we else we got? Let's go to main menu and then we're gonna call it. Uh, let's do another uh, 2600 game. Uh, so let's see here. We, uh... Let's do some combat. Let's do tank. If you had another player. I can't even hit a still target. I win. Alright, that's quite boring. Let's uh let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at one of our role-playing games. How do we do that? Let's take a look at some football. I think you have to have two players. All right. I'll take a look at that later. I'm going to come for you guys with that. So let's take a look at one of our role-playing games. A little night driving. <laughs> Obviously, we know I suck at driving. our video games guys still trying to get to our I think that's my sword. Uh oh. Uh oh. Battle. Yes. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. The boss.
<laughs> oh, that's it, guys. Uh oh. Two's almost gone. All right, there we go. I don't know what happened. I guess I was pressing too many buttons. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our box opening of the Atari VCS system. I think it's due out really soon. Um, first impressions, it brings back, first of all, for me personally, being the fact that this was my first home gaming system ever, brings back lots of fond memories. It brings back some special memories of my brother and I and um, if you don't know my brother passed away at the age of 28 so to uh, be thinking about some of those uh, fun times that him and I had playing each other uh, different games um, yeah definitely brings back some uh, awesome memories uh, first impressions I love the fact that you there's going to be hopefully more additional apps for it. as you can see right now I can watch Hulu Netflix um, there's some more games I can get. I'm going to have to do some research to find out how good these games are because if we're going to spend some money on games, either we spend some money on games that we can stream that are going to be uh, exciting for you to watch or these games that probably I'm going to be the only one that's going to enjoy them. Uh, I don't know if I would quite run out and get this. I got this for nostalgia reasons. I got this because I wanted the collector's edition. I got this because... Uh, you were able to get the uh, retro controllers. So I uh, decided to support this because I just liked the way it sounded. Um, is it going to beat Xbox and PlayStation? Probably not, but you just have to be a fan of retro gaming and this game would be for you. I'm quite interested to see if there's going to be a possibility of being able to mod it so I can add some more retro games to it. Maybe like some Sega Genesis, some old Nintendo, get those ROMs. We'll see. I don't know yet. There's a lot to still be uh, checked underneath the hood per se, and we'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, an unboxing. It was uh, We got some gameplay. Probably upload this for Friday's video. Maybe, maybe not, or maybe we'll have a dual video. Quite don't know yet. Uh, as I'm taping these when I get home uh, in the middle of the night or it's usually in the morning between 1 and 2 a.m. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris DeCop reminding you, take care of yourself, take care of one another. We will get through COVID-19 together, but until then, I'll be in this seat making the content that you request, you want, and you deserve. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris DeCop saying peace.